heard some folks up there saying, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. and if we don't get no justice, there ain't going to be no damn peace. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Let me just start off by saying to you that black people are in a state of an emergency. Amen. We are in a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. Black folks in America. And those who support us need to understand the depth of the state of emergency. And it didn't just start today, but it is at a critical point. We are at a point when folks grandmothers all the way down to little babies are tired mm -hmm. people realize that this attack that we're under i heard someone saying on tv today that it feels like every black person in america is being hunted that's, right. that's how we feel mm -hmm. and so that state of emerge emergency is causing all types of things mm -hmm. but out of the white house mm -hmm. last night we heard mm -hmm. the president of the united states say that when the looting starts, the shooting starts, right. okay. which we know is a reference to another racist time right. in the history of America where police abused right. our people. That same president, he is the same man that in 2018, at one of his speeches, Donald Trump said that he is a nationalist. And this is important for people to understand what we're dealing with here so that you know when we say a state of emergency what we mean. He said he is a nationalist and if you understand the history of white nationalism in America to have the president say that we were in a state of emergency at that moment. He also went on at another press conference or another event to say to police officers don't be so nice when you arrest them. Mm. Y'all got to remember mm. the history of the man who was in the White House. Mm. He said, don't be so nice to them. Be hit them in the head when you put them in the car. Right. These were his words as the president of the United States. This is not an isolated situation. Right. Right. These instances are not isolated. What is happening in America is that white nationalism ideology is running wild. Right. And the reason why buildings are burning is because this city, this state, would prefer preserving that white nationalism and that white supremacist mindset mm -hmm. over arresting, charging, and helping to convict mm -hmm. four officers who killed the black man. Mm -hmm. That is the reality of what we're dealing with. Right. This is not just a few cops doing things yeah. across the country. Mm -hmm. This is not a good cop versus bad cop situation. This is Ahmaud Arbery being shot down by white men on the streets of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Breonna Taylor being killed in her home. Mm -hmm. This is in New York City where we were until freedom. We were just in New York fighting the police officers who in the name of social distancing were damn near killing black young people on our streets. Mm -hmm. This is a coordinated activity happening right. across this nation. Mm -hmm. And so we are in a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. Black people are dying mm -hmm. in a state yeah, of emergency. We cannot look at this as an isolated incident. The reason why buildings are burning are not just for our brother George Floyd. We're, they're burning down because people here in Minnesota are saying to people in New York, to people in California, to people in Memphis, to people all across this nation, enough is enough. Yes. And we are not responsible for the mental illness that has been inflicted upon our people by the American government, institutions, and those people who are in positions of power. I don't give a damn if they burn down Target. Because Target should be on the streets with us, calling for the justice that our yeah. people deserve. Talk about it, Where was AutoZone at the time when Philando Castile was shot in a car, which is what they actually represent? Mm. Where were they? So if you are not coming to the people's defense, right. then don't challenge us when young people and other people who are frustrated and instigated by the people you pay, you are paying instigators to be among our people out there throwing rocks, breaking windows, and burning down buildings.
And so young people are responding to that. They are enraged. And there's an easy way to stop it. Arrest the cops. Charge the cops. Charge all the cops. Not just some of them. Not just here in Minneapolis. Charge them in every city across America where our people are being murdered. Charge them everywhere. That's the bottom line. Charge the cops. Do your job. Do what you say this country is supposed to be about, the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people, and we are tired. Don't talk to us about looting. Y'all are the looters. America has looted black people. America looted the Native Americans when they first came here. So looting is what you do. We learned it from you. We learned violence from you. We learned violence from you. The violence was what we learned from you. So if you want us to do better, then damn it, you do better.